production about Kelantan. The state of Kelantan is known as the cradle of Malay culture for having an overwhelming population of Malay, 93% and the rest made up of Chinese, Indians and Thai. The name of Kelantan means land of lightning evident by the many thunderstorms that rock the state each year. The Kelantanese have preserved their customs, traditions and cultures well over the year. Hi, I'm Nuru Azmina Afifa Binti Mama Azami. Going to present about place that we choose for Chit City Wan Kembang Negeri Kelantan Heritage Trail. Culture Center, known as the Gelanggan Seni, located at Jalan Sultan Mahmud, which is about 2 km from Kota Baru City Center, was created. This center has always been an attraction to tourists and to the children of Kelantan who love the art of the nation's heritage to camp and perform their respective performance. Among the performances that are still popular and often held are Diki Barat, Rubana Ubi, Top Games and Kite and many more. The show is held on Wednesday each week. Next, Bazaar Tok Guru. The Bazaar Tok Guru design concept is characterized by Islamic architecture taken from the design elements of Mos in Mecca and Medina. Among them is the design of the dome and entrance gate taken from the Prophet Mos. This bazaar is categorized as the visitor-friendly business premise. Various facilities are provided such as tourist information center, surau, parking lots, elevators, food carts, ATM counters, public transport stop such as buses and taxis, and many more. Other than that, Kelantan State Museum. The museum was established in the former building of Kota Baru Municipal Council. In 1988, the building interior was renovated by adding an extra half story and rooms for the museum exhibition. The museum showcased the history, culture, and art of Kelantan. The museum regularly hosts various events such as book launches and other exhibitions. Street art. Street art is a mural land from the Sultan and Anne. You will find artwork reflecting dreams, magic, happiness, and all the good things in life. City Khadija Market. The name is derived from Khadija Binti Khalid, the wife of Prophet Muhammad, who was a businesswoman on that time. This market also is dominated by women sellers. The market is housed in a four-story building and features an octagonal shape. Fresh goodies are ready to eat foods local snacks and drinks can be found sold in the market. The next place is Istana Balai Besar. The place is being the residence of the Sultans of Kelantan. Some additions were made to the Istana Balai Besar as on the front. Although Istana Balai Besar is no longer the residence of the Sultans of Kelantan after Sultan Muhammad IV, but this palace is still the official palace for all royal ceremonies and custom to this day. We move to Muhammadi Mosque. The teaching system in this mosque, Masjid Muhammadi, has similarities with the teaching in the Grand Mosque. Mecca, where students will go to Mecca to continue their studies after graduation in this mosque. This mosque become a famous center for the spread of religious knowledge in the archipelago. Antiklantan was known as Surambi Mecca. Museum Kraftangai, a business complex that 
collects a variety of local goods such as clothing, batik fabrics, tidy fabrics, food, kitchen items, accessories and many more. Tambatan Diraja Now, the place that called Tambatan Diraja area is the focus of Kota Baru residents to relax while enjoying the scenery of the Kelantan River. During the monsoon season, Tambatan Diraja is often used as a measure by the residents of Kota Baru in the face of floods too. Bankerapu, the building of Bankerapu owns and displays more than thousand war-related exhibits consisting of photograph articles and artifacts. Other exhibits include photos of Sultan Ismail Petra as honorary colonel of the Royal Malaysian Artillery Regiment. The history of Kelantan Thai relations before Malaya's independence and the lives of the British in Kelantan before and after the war. So this our video promotion for Chek City Wan Kembang Heritage Trail in Kelantan. We start our journey at Culture Center. Culture Center is the government and tourism board hold events here to promote the traditional forms of art, dance, martial arts such as Rabana Ubi, Silat Sanitari, Chongka, Wayang Kulit, Batik Painting and many more. From Culture Center, we move to Bazaar Tok Guru and it's gonna take about 4 minutes and 350 meter. Bazaar Tok Guru is considered shopping heaven for ladies shopping for fabrics. Mostly traders in Bazaar Tok Guru focusing in favorite products include Tudung Bawal Asli, Kain Batik, Kain Ella, Kain Sarong, Kain Pelikat and others. From Bazaar Tok Guru and we continue to Kelantan State Museum and it takes about 5 minutes and from 100 meter. The Museum Negeri Kelantan is conveniently located next to the main tourist information center in Kelantan and is known as the official state museum. The museum tells the story of the state and also of the rise of Kota Baru Next, from Kelantan State Museum, we move to street art about 3 minutes and 240 meters to arrive there. Get a feel of the culture by checking out some gorgeous murals and colorful walls. There are a plethora of styles and subjects too, so you know it's not just one person determined to paint the entire town. Most of the murals from students around Kelantan too. From street art, we continue our journey to Istana Balai Besar and it takes about 9 minutes and 700 meters. It is not easy to miss the Istana Balai Besar Palace as its unique traditional and cultural finishing catches your eye right in the middle of the Kota Baru town. From Istana Balai Besar, we continue to City Khadija Market. It's gonna take about 6 minutes and 450 meter. It is popular as a place to shop for local goods. It has its own uniqueness because the shops here are monopolized by women. A business complex that provides a variety of local goods. We're also gonna try and eat a variety of traditional and delicious foods at there. After shopping at City Kadeja Market, we moved to Museum Craft Tangan about 450 meter, which is 6 minutes too. 
Inside the Handicraft Museum, there are many collections of Kelantan's handicraft too. Among the collections available here are various types of weaving, batik, as well as embroidery and songket. From Museum Craft Tangan, we continue to Masjid Muhammadi. Our journey takes about 7 minutes and 550 meter. The role of the Muhammadi Mosque is the spread and education of Islam in Kelantan is very special. This is where some great scholars of Kelantan have taught various religious knowledge. After visit Masjid Muhammadi, we move to Bankarapu like it's gonna take about 4 minutes and 380 meter. A variety of second worldwide relics consisting of photographs, artifacts and articles. This museum is also called the Bankarapu because the same building was used as a bank from 1912 to 1992. Last but not least, from Ben Kerapu, we continue our journey to Tambatan Diraja and only takes 2 minutes and 130 meter to arrive there. Tambatan Diraja, there is a tower called the Menara Jam Tambatan Diraja. From the tower, the public can view the city of Kota Baru and the Kelantan River. Next, we move to the brochure. The types of brochure that we choose is threefold. In this brochure, we put all information about our heritage trails. As we can see here, there are information about Museum Craft Tangan. The museum opened from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Next is a, is a culture center. It's often, it opened from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Next is a Masjid Muhammadi and a Tambatan Diraja. Beside that, at the back of the brochure, there are some information and operation hours about Bank Rapu, Sri Ar, Bazar Tok Guru, Istana Balai Besar, Kelantan State Museum and Pasar City Khadijah. Most of these places are open from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. For the next slide is a marketing objective. We focus on the three marketing objectives. First, to promote the historical areas to tourists. Second, to raise public knowledge of the local history and conservation interests. Third, is a to making heritage tourism, especially around Kota Baru Kelantan, as the main resource through the economy. For the SWOT analysis, Cik Siti Wang Kembang Heritage Trails already identified strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat based on our heritage trails. For the strengths, all heritage trails are areas which is Kota Baru Kelantan have their own have their own attractions and history. Weakness is difficult to get interest from tourists and government in term of in term of conservation. For the opportunity is increased opportunity in economics of local products. And three is a low visibility of activities resulting in a lack of interest among tourists in heritage trails. The next slide it shows about a marketing strategies for Chet City Wang Kembang Heritage Trails. These heritage trails are targeted at young generations, families and business travelers. Second, we want to tap in new market in heritage tourism by promoting these heritage trails. Third, the provisions of basic facilities and infrastructure that are more comfortable and give maximum satisfaction to the tourists. And lastly, organize quality heritage and culture activities that have their own strength with uniqueness by continuously held events for the purpose of a branding. Such as we held a, we, we held a event uh, for a DK Barat, Wayang Kulit and Wawulan which is a which is a famous at Kelantan. Lastly, for my part, I will explain about our marketing activities. 
we will create a variety of content through social media such as YouTube channels, Instagram, or Facebook account to promote Kelantan as our national heritage trails. Second, we will collaboration with a Kelantan Tourism Information Center to promote our heritage trails and at the same time, we will organize an event such as Diki Barat Wayang Kulit. And lastly, we will make a short video about the uniqueness and some information of the place that have been chosen to the tourists so that tourists will get a knowledge about the place before visiting there. My name is Muhammad Daniel bin Hisham Afendi. Now it's my turn to present about our heritage trail deeper by explaining our type of interpretation techniques. So, we choose visitor center as our techniques. We can locate it at the entrance gates within the popular and recreation areas as it can make people interested with what we're going to show them. It also can become an opportunity for face-to-face -face contact with staff too. It will also make the site recognizable where visitors can obtain information. This type also a scope for application of a wide range which is variety of techniques. Next, we go to our logo where a graphic of a legendary queen known as Chit City Wan Kemba, also who reigned over a region on the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia and now known as Kelantan. The color of the background which is black to make it elegant and bold while the red in the logo and white of the font is represent flag of Kelantan which is red and white. Now we go through our heritage interpretation design. We had choose three types from the designs. The first is campground bulletin board as it is an interpretive notes and information strategically located where campers consult tourists easily. These pictures are the examples of the campground bulletin board style. Next, we go through to the second design that is free materials where interpretive and information poster that provide information about the place to guide tourists such as operation hours and entrance fees. These are the example of the posters. And the last one that we had choose is Brochure Star. It's a small uh, publication with pictures that provided information and picture of that place. This is our own design, the uh, own design for the brochure. It also completed with a modern style design where it can be scanned via QR code when having the heritage trails with us. You can try to scan it right now and all of our info will stay in that QR code. And this QR code also provided by a friendly chat box where we can communicate with our clients directly and easily. I think that's all from us. Thank you.